Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Kumusta po kayo? Nais nice ko pong ipakilala ang aking sarili, lalo na po sa mga kapatira na ngayon lang po ninyo ako nakita. Ako po ay si Ate Connie na dating manggagawa dyan sa PCAC for 15 years. At isa po sa ministry na naging close sa heart ko ay ang prayer ministry. I really miss it a lot and the people that I worked with. And tonight po, uh, nagpapasalamat ako kay Rolly for giving me this opportunity na makasama ko kayo as I share with you a short reflection on the theme, The Standard of Greatness, based sa uh, devotional guide na 52 Weeks with Jesus by James Merritt. By the way, I commend you, Rolly, sa pagiging faithful prayer intercessors noon pa man at hanggang ngayon. God bless your brother. I want to believe na ang topic natin ngayong gabi ay pamilyar po sa ating lahat. So therefore, uh, my intention ay para ma-refresh uli ang mind natin and hopefully to challenge us na maging tuloy-tuloy na way of life natin ito. The standard of greatness or pamantayan ng kadakilaan, pamantayan ng pagiging dakila. I hope I translated uh, in Tagalog correctly. Ano agad sa mind natin when we hear the phrase, He is great, or you are great, or I am great? Anong pamantayan ng tao for saying this? Most of us often think of greatness in terms of accumulation, having a lot. Gaano ba karami meron ako o gaano ba karami, karami meron siya sa buhay? So dito po ay mga bagay, mga bagay na meron tayo sa buhay. Gaano ba kalaki ang aking bahay? Gaano ba karami ang aking bahay? Gaano ba karami, karami ng aking sasakyan, alahas, uh, properties, at kung ano-ano pa po. Anything na meron tayo sa buhay. And also, the second one is accomplishment or having done a lot. Anong mga natupad mo or naabot mo sa buhay? Ano ba ang degree na natapos mo? Tapos ka ng kolehyo, hindi lang uh, naging accountant ka, uh, lawyer ka pa, doktor ka pa. Tatlo-tatlong kurso ang tinapos mo. Hindi lang basta natapos, nagmasteral pa, nagdoctorate pa. We equate greatness with success. Anong trabaho natin at ilang promotions na naganap? The measuring sticks we use are how big, how much, or how many. Therefore, it qualifies us to say, look at me. Look at him. Ang dami niyang pera, ang yaman niya, talagang nang dakila niya, ang great niya, tanyag na tanyag, sikat na sikat, kilang, kilalang kilalang tao. Talagang sa dami pa lang niya ng mga properties, mga, uh, mga meron siya sa buhay, nako, nakakaanga talaga. Noon itong taong ito sa society. So the world says greatness based on our status in life. Fame, career, education, position in the society, at work, and even at church. Let me read to you some Matthew 2021. 20, uh, itong occasion na ito na recorded for us. Uh, the mother of James and John came to Jesus saying, Grant that these two sons of mine may sit one on your right hand and the other on the left in your kingdom. Makita natin dito yung typical na mother na she just wants the best para sa kanyang anak na naalala ko yung nanay ko nung nabubuhay pa. Laging sinasabi niya sa amin na nais ko na bago ko man ipikit ang aking mata to see you guys, to see you mga anak ko na 
nasa maayos na kalagayan. That's a noble desire. That's a noble desire from a mother. I want my boys to be on top of uh, to be on top of position. I want them to have front row seats. Diyan talaga, second in commander. Second in command, I mean. Kanang kamay ba naman at both left and right, mga anak niya. I want them to be great. If we're honest, she's not much different than we are. Everybody wants to be first. First in line. First to be chosen. First to be noticed. First to be praised. Sino ba naman sa atin ang gustong maging kulelat? At hindi lang itong mag na to ang, ang nagkaroon ng ganong pagnanais. Sa uh, Matthew 20.24, it says, And when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. Remember the ten disciples? Can you just imagine yung pangkagalaiti o pagkainis ni Peter at lalo na po si uh, Judas? It seems that maring sinabi nila na, ang kakapal naman ng mga ito, anong karapatan nila o anong karapatan nila para ipwesto nila ang kanilang mga sarili? Anong naabot nila? Ano bang qualification nila para uh, mailagay sila sa ganong posisyon? So that's the standard po ng ating mundo o ng, ng karamihan sa mga tao if not all. But let's look at how God view greatness. Let's look at two references from Matthew 20, 26b to 28, and Mark 9, 35. Whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Mark 9.35 Four points po dito sa binasa natin. First, whoever desires to be great among you, let him be your servant. So, in other words, if I want to be great in God's eyes, then I should do the secret to greatness. And it is service. Paglilingkod. Paglilingkod. I remember, uh, nung nandiyan pa po ako sa Pasay, ginawa naman natin uh, ang ganitong ceremony. Um, I don't know if it was Pastor We or Pastor Kentan uh, who initiated na during the time that... Uh, uh, pagpipresent ng mga officers, elders, uh, deacons, and deaconesses. Uh, may mga langga na po kami o batya na kung saan uh, gagawin namin ang paghuhugas ng mga ng paa sa isa't isa. Actually, like the pastors and workers washing the feet of the elders, elders to the deacons or deaconesses, and so on and so forth. If you, are, you, if you are to ask me how I felt during the time, sa totoo lang po, nakakapangliit. At talaga pong, hindi ko po alam kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. Lalo pa po, ang daming mga nanonood in a sense that in front of the congregation. But one thing po nag-register sa akin, kaya nga po hanggang naalala ko, the concept or the idea of what Jesus meant that if you want to be great I'm calling you to serve to serve in humility with a humble heart it's not service na andito ko sa taas magdidikta sa mga taong nasa ibaba ko but doing it yourself together with them. Kaya nga, ang concept ng leadership is, you are a leader, not to command, but to be part of them, doing exactly the work. Doing exactly ang 
uh, ang ministerio, hindi na ikaw ang gumawa nito, ako habang nandito. No, all of us doing it. So service. Whoever desires to be first, second point, whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. So mga kapatid, you want to be number one? Then it starts at the bottom. You want to be like Jesus? Find the least desired position. Ano ba yung mga des desired, least desired Yung mga hindi talaga ka ano-anong posisyon na nanaisi ng sino man. Mas gusto ba natin lagi, ah, ito, ito, kasi at least nakikita itong ganitong gawain, itong ministry na to. Kitang-kita ito, talagang ano, ma-appreciate talaga ako kaagad nito. Or kikita niya kung gaano ako kagaling. Well, the challenge for us here is, as well is find a job nobody else wants to do well looking back again sa PCAC ano ba yung mga jobs na nobody wants to do it's not pleasant to uh, clean the toilet na iniwanan ng sino man na hindi marunong man lang maglinis ng maayos na iwanan ng ma medyo ng maayos ang toilet O hugasan yung mga plato after natin kumain. Ah, hindi ko na yung trabaho. Pagod na ako sa pagkante. Pagod na ako sa pagsayaw o pagod na ako sa pagpreach. Hindi ko nagawain yan. Ilagay ko lang yan sa lababo. That's not my job. Find the worst seat in the house. Depende po. Ano po yung, dyan sa church po. Gusto ko lang po example ito sa church. Sorry po. Kasi kung lalabas pa tayo sa ibang mga uh, teritoryo, lalong lalaki po ang uh, subject matter natin. But like, sabi dito, kaya nakakonsentrate po tayo in example ko sa church. Find the worst seat in the, in the house, in the church. Ano yung makikita natin find a uh, worst seat in the house? Obviously, inisip natin yung, naku, yung pinakalikod. O yung tipong, oh, at ang, yeah, so yung pinakalikod, ang best seat, obviously, yung front. But I would say, it depends po kung ano yung activity ng church. Kapag concert po yan, at may guest sa tayong speaker, uh, mga celebrity, obviously po, front seat talaga, lahat yan ang, na ano, Nagaagawan niya na mar maraming gustong nasa front seat para kitang-kita nila makapag-take ng picture sa mga guest na ano natin, ng mga celebrity, Gary Valenciano, Connie Reyes, to share the testimony. So, but, come prayer meeting, alin po ang best seat? Likod. Likod po ba? Kawawa namang uh, prayer uh, uh, prayer meeting in charge. Batat na nang copy pray para wag maging late ang mga intercessors na dumating on time at marami ang dumating. So find the worst seat in the house. Kayo na po ang bahala kung ano yung motive ninyo kung alin ba yung worst seat pag nandiyan kayo sa church. O willing na lang ba ako tumayo para pagbigyan itong mga guest natin? A question. I just want to pose a question po sa atin. Can you see a great one around you? Sa panahon natin ngayon, can you see great ones around you? In my time, yan sa PCAC, one stood out for me were those people who chose to be in the prayer room, who intercede while the service was going on. They chose to do the job nobody wants to do, especially when uh, we have popu popular guest speakers having concerts uh, with a Christian celebrity around to share songs and testimonies. Very tempting po kung isipin na, Naku, labas na lang ako muna o wag na lang kasi gusto kong mapanood si Gary Valenciano. They choose to be there. Their commitment to cover the 
uh, the service in prayer. Habang tuloy-tuloy na ang, uh, ang servisyo natin, ay sila rin ay tuloy-tuloy ang pagsaserve nila by covering in prayer uh, ang ating worship service. I just hope na nagagana pa rin po ito dati na sa atin dyan sa church na yung prayer room ay still our prayer room. And I salute those people. Some of them ay wala na po sa piling natin. Nasa kay Lord na sila. They're promoted. But they did their share. Sa akin po personally, ang mga taong yun ay naging malaki ang impact sa akin. They're naging blessing po sila talaga ng gusto sa akin. Ayoko na pong mag-mention ng mga names. You know, for sure, uh, as I had said, sila po ay ang aking mga unsung hero. Hindi sila nakikita madalas, hindi na, hindi na appreciate, but for me, sila po ay mga dakilang lingkod ng Diyos. Third point, Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Hindi ko na po ididetalye ito. Alam na alam po natin na si Lord, si Jesus Christ, when He came to this world, instead na ano talaga to? Pagdating niya rito sa world, oh guys, oh mga hudyo, mga gentiles, ito ko, ako ang Messiah, ako yung King. No. In humility, He came to serve. In humility, hindi niya ipinagmalaki, ako ay anak ng uh, Diyos, ng hari ng mga hari. Irespeto niyo ako. Sambahin niyo ko, sundin niyo ako. He did not demand that. He just served. He served the people. Not only that, he gave his life, number four, he gave his life a ransom for many. He died for us. We know that story of that cross. He gave his life for us. He gave his life away for all of us. Um, I just would like to uh, illustrate these things in here. I'm sure narinig nyo na po yung sa Israel po ito na yung Dead Sea. Ano po yung katangian ng isang Dead Sea? Dead Sea walang buhay. Pero marami pa rin po nag-appreciate siyempre yung ibang pagkabuti ng Dead Sea. Pero I just would like us to picture or to see yung kung anong dinidesire ni Lord para sa atin bilang kanyang mga anak. Ayaw niya tayong makita na like a dead sea. But rather, He wants to see us like a river that flows. Because His life is in us and He wants that life to carry on to flow like a river. To be of service para sa iba. Not for our own selves, but for people around us, for the world, na lalo pa yung dinakakakilala kay Lord. We are called to serve. We are called to serve. So, to compare po ito nga pa, to summarize po, so man's point of view, the world measures greatness by how many people serve you. God's point of view, just Jesus measures greatness by how many people you serve. To Jesus, greatness doesn't come from what we accumulate or accomplish. Second, the world measures greatness by who is in first place. Katulad nung istorya ay yung, yung binasa nating uh, verse tungkol sa mother na gusto niya si James and John na nasa best seat. So the world measures greatness by who is in the first place. But Jesus measures greatness by who is in last place. 
And lastly, the world measures greatness by those who get or receive. But Jesus measures greatness by those who give. Again, let me emphasize this. Jesus measures greatness by those who give. I believe the way we serve others is by giving our lives away. Katulad na binanggit ko kanina, like a river that flows, not like the Dead Sea, na stagnant, no life. In a few weeks' time, we will be celebrating Christmas. May we celebrate it well by remembering its real reason. God the Father gave His Son unselfishly to serve His very purpose of saving you and me. Pwede naman sanang sinabi ni Father, ni God the Father, ay wag na, kaisa-isa na nga lang anak ko, ba't ko pa ipadadala? But he did it because of his love for human race. God the Son understood the heart of God the Father. He obeyed and did an amazing act of love by giving his life away until the very last drop of his blood for our redemption. Pwede naman siya nagbargain sa tatay niya. Huwag niyo na ako ipadalad. Dad, dito na lang ako. But no, he did it as an act of love for the human race. God, the Holy Spirit, understood and helped to fulfill the plan in continuously ministering to us, His church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. As God's children, may we find ourselves fulfilling His mandate for us. What is this mandate? That is to love God and to love people by serving each other, each other, no man is an island, through the spiritual gifts He has given us and with an attitude of humble service for the glory of God. I will repeat that. As God's children, may we find ourselves fulfilling His mandate for us, that is to love God and to love people by serving each other through the spiritual gifts He has given us and with an attitude of humble service for the glory of God. And in closing, let me, let me recite to you this uh, song. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be, Make me a servant, make me a servant today. Brothers and sisters, the moment we choose to have a servant spirit, a servant heart, and a servant attitude, then our Creator says, You are great. You are great, my brothers and sisters. God bless us all. Shalom. Amen. And amen.